Hello everyone, I am Izzy Noodles and this is Black Villa. This is slightly creepy, this one. It's pretty cool. It's another short and sweet one. So, let's get into it. Lara's Freundin Jane is verzweifelt. Sie war am Vorabend zu einer Gothic-Party in einer alten Villa eingeladen. Dort ereigneten sich allerdings mysteriöse Dinge und Jane verließ fluchtartig das Gebäude. Am nächsten Morgen stellte sie fest, dass sie den Diamanten aus dem wertvollsten Amulett ihrer Großmutter verloren hatte. Sie wusste, dass er in der großen Halle liegen muss. Da Jane aber immer noch zitterte, wenn sie an den Vorabend dachte, wandte sie sich hoffnungsvoll an ihre beste Freundin Lara Croft. Stets abenteuerlustig und unerschrocken macht sich Lara nun auf den Weg, den Diamanten für ihre Freundin wieder zu beschaffen. Die Eingangstür ist fest verschlossen, also gelangt Lara über den Schornstein in das düstere Haus. Schnell ist das Juwel gefunden, aber wird unsere Heldin auch einen Ausweg aus der Villa finden können? Kannst du ihr helfen? Okay, so we've got a really cool black and white level. And let me just check, am I recording? <laughs> yep, can't be too paranoid, okay. <laughs> so let's head on down. We've broken in through the chimney to get Jane's uh, diamant? Is it a diamant pendant back? So just here as we hop down, you are actually forced to use the uh, the roll here. And then you have to press the look button. That's a funny old gap, that one. If you try to just uh, drop down, there's a bug that Lara kind of just doesn't drop. She ends up just standing at the top of the space. And then it bugs out the controls. You can't move, <laughs> so you have to start again. So first things first, let me explain that you do not yet have your weapons. You'll find them later. Also, there's the new animation for the roll. She does that. So that's something to get used to, simply because she does not take up the spacing she would in the, you know, the all the other games. So this this is different. She doesn't like roll forward a little bit. And also let me give you a bit of a tour, it's very confusing, so I will explain there is an easy and a hard mode. I am playing on easy simply for my own timing, I just thought I just... Because it's not always easy to get the videos out, so I try to do it as easily and quickly as I can, so I opted for easy mode. So differences between easy and hard, if we have a look to the right, there is a crystal here. There's various crystals and on hard mode, this is the only way to save your game. There is no save option in the inventory. So you will have a load option, but no save. Uh, also, time is a shorter, I know that for a fact. But something else which I do not know for certain, which is usually the case between easy and hard in level editors, um, there could potentially be lesser pickups and the enemies will probably have more health and do more damage but I don't know those factors for certain. So on with the tour we've got this room here that I've just shown there's a room to the right and there's a guard there so just quietly ignore him. Coming up this way there's a passage there but we'll ignore that until close to the end that actually leads up to the tightrope there but we need a key which we'll not get until much much later further in there's another room that i'll ignore until the very end we'll have nothing to do there until much later okay and this area i am going to call the main hall so we can see straight away there's Jane's diamond necklace. So yeah, easy to find it, but then we'll have to leave the house. Okay, so it does get a little spoopy from time to time. 
So yeah, we've got what we came here for now, but now we have to get out. So because this area can be confusing, there's two passages to the right and two to the left. Let me just explain how I'm going to do this with the compass. So in the guide I followed on TRLE, it followed the lighter compass point as the marker. So I will be going by the lighter points in my descriptions. So if I just shuffle a bit this way to the just up the steps, you can see an archway straight ahead. So between the top of the steps and that archway on the left, there's an aquarium. So anytime I talk about the aquarium, I'm going to talk about that. And that is south. So the front door where I came from, technically I didn't walk through the front door, but where I came from, that north. And this table on this side, there's no table behind me, but this table is west. So if you try and remember that much, it's something. So just because there's a clock in front and a clock there, this can seem quite confusing. So remember the aquarium south and the table west. These are just factors that will help get your bearings as I'm playing along. So firstly, I'm going to go northwest. So that's this way. I'm going to ignore this room for now. That's just a bathroom and there is just a meta pack inside, but once we pick it up, We'll spawn a load of little mice that's going to be nibbling at Lara's toes and we don't have the opportune moment to try and get rid of the mice if they're in the way. So I'll pick that up at a more opportune moment. Just going to come round to here to grab a couple of med packs. So one here. And then just... Oh, try not to fall down. <laughs> Okay, and then help across the boxes and we can push this box in. And we can grab another med pack. Okie dokie. So now we've got some block pushing to do. Let me just push this one straight up to the wall. So you'll see on the left, there's a higher block. And we want to get that through the opening that's high in the wall near it. So once that's in place, because we're going to push it to the into this room, we need to put some more blocks into place here. So let's just line these ones up. Okay, so once we move that block all the way to the end here, it will allow us to reach that high ledge. So there's actually a time to leave her up there. Okay, so now that's at the end, I'm actually gonna pull this block out and put it into position because, as I mentioned, the lever is timed. So we're gonna have to rush down. So if I land on this block as I jump down, this will minimize some damage. Not that it really matters, I will be using med packs in this playthrough. Everything is just too RNG to try to not use med packs. <laughs> okay, so first lever pull will show you what it's did what it does. So it's kind of a, a wasted pull, but let's just go ahead and see what happens.
Okie dokie, so once you pull this once, a crystal appears here. So I'll probably try and rely on the crystals just for a, a bit of a challenge. And as you run into them, it does show your save points. So this is going to be the only time you'll see my save points. I usually like to cut them out because I think it looks tidy. But this game will be an exception. Okay, let's do this. So that is the room that I already passed. So I know that on the hard mode, you barely get a chance <laughs> to run into this room. Okay, so inside there is a key. Do you see how long that timer actually was for easy mode? Okay, so to get out of here, pull the lever to open this door and just shove this block out of the way and I'm gonna push it all the way as far as it will go because then we can stand on it to pull a lever Right, so that's opened the hatch above me. That's how we're going to get out of this section. But we need to actually pull out some more blocks to reach it. So let me just pull this block back two spaces. We do have a selection of blocks left and right. The movable blocks are the ones with crosses. So the only one that does not move is that higher one that side with a cross. So I'm going to move this one out so I can reach the higher cross block on this side. Okay, and it actually wants to go on this block, so I'm going to pull out this one as well and then we'll have three in a row to make it easier to pull the top block. So this block still isn't lined up with the hatch, so we still have to do a little more manoeuvring. I'm going to need to push it forward one space, so I'm going to push this block forward and then I'll push the other one back. So I have a space to stand and a space to push the block onto. Okay, we are there. So straight ahead there's a hatch we still need to open, so there is a jump switch just here. And now that's open, so let's run around again up onto the blocks. Okay, dokie. And down we go, and we're out. Nice. So now I'm going to go and use the key that I picked up. So I will need to go southwest. So that is that away. Yeah, for a moment I thought I was doing the wrong thing, but it's fine. <laughs> Okay, so here is where the key can be used. And the reason I got a little mixed up for a moment is because um, I want to go back to the med pack. So open the door and then go back for the med pack that I mentioned spawns all the little mice. Because now we have the way open to deal with the mice. You won't necessarily need to get rid of them, but if you do, the pathway is opened up. little things
So if you want to take the time to get rid of them, that is fine. So just bring them this way. It's not likely that any's followed me straight away. Okay, so in this section, another crystal if you want it. And this block is going to be raised so that we can reach this higher area. So come through to this way, and this is where you want to lead the mice to. And you want to hang from the ledge and let them drop into the water. So you might need to shimmy side to side to keep them moving. And then they'll drop down. So to raise the block, there's a lever there just to the right. So we actually need to drop into the water ourselves in order to climb up to that location. So climb out on this slope, hit that slope and grab this ladder. And at the top the ladder will turn into monkey bars. Lara will automatically grab that. Okay, and then all the way to the far end. So from here you want to hop down. You would have seen where I showed the lever. You probably spotted this shimmy gap. So when you can let go, just let go and then climb up to the lever. Awesome, so that block is now raised. And I will have a quick save. May as well, because I'm one that forgets to save when I know what needs to be done. So you, you want to be careful on the right hand passage above me now, because there's a guy with a gun. I will need to go that way, unfortunately. I'll go this way first. And in this set of drawers, there's an important item. There is an ocular piece. So it, some items don't show up on the screen. Was it the ocular piece? Yes, it was. So sometimes I forget what I've picked up if they don't show up in the corner. Okay, and now just jump on over. I'm just gonna go ahead and rush around I like to go anti-clockwise, just because it gives me more space. Oh no, he's coming the other way. So you need to climb the bookcase, and no matter how high up on the bookcase you are, he's still going to get you. So gotta go fast, and you need to be quite high up, and then just flip back and grab this. Okay. So now, we have this little aquarium with these flesh-eating fiends. I hate them, they take so much health off you. And you saw how much health the gunman took off me as well. I don't know whether to use a med pack, because he didn't take as much off me as he has done in the past. But these guys, these guys. And there's no way to check my health. I think I will prefer to have a, a save. Okay, hop on in and grab the ruby cube. It would help if you landed right on top of it. Okay. <laughs> that was okay. It was okay. And now I'm just gonna get out of dodge real quick. So I'm just gonna line up with the exit. Oh no, he's right below me. <laughs> He knew.
Did you see the spoop just then? The ghoul in the cape? I never knew there was one down there. Okay, so I think I might be better off using a med pack <laughs> this time round. Okay, so I didn't lose nearly as much, well, I probably lost the same amount of health I used in med pack. So this is just so RNG, random number generator, that I would rather it wasn't a nomad run. <laughs> you see, he, he wasn't there as quickly that time either. And then just run straight forward and you'll land on this block and minimize your damage. Right, moving back along. So don't forget, there's probably the little mice around and about now. So now I'm going to go to the southeast passage. That's this side. Whoops. Did it scare you? <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to show you what's in this room. We do not need to come into here, but I like to just show things so everyone can get their bearings. So there's a load of blocks, there's a safe crystal. On this lighter wall, there's a closed hatch at the top. And there is a hatch above me, that's quite a, a long drop there. There's a closed door here. And I can actually pull out this block to reveal a keyhole. So we don't need to be in here yet. I just want to show you what's what and where. Okay, so now I'm going to leave. And I'm going to do a timed run into this room. So I need to get the door open. So that's, that's the timer, obviously. <laughs> And we've got another tricky, tricky section where I'm going to use a med pack. Well, it's not that tricky, it's just irritating because it involves little mice. <gasps> okay. So the lever ahead of me is what opens the timed door. And while we're in the water, you know, slowly wading, there will be all the mice come out of nowhere. So they appear before you pull the lever, so try and do a running jump to get the distance. And try to turn while it's opening, while it's showing you it opens, because you can be moving away from the little mice. Okay. <laughs> Okay, easy peasy. So in this first passage, we can come into here. Um, there we go. So in here is some cloth. So I guess coming and getting this item wasn't necessary so soon, but now I have it. And then we have to leave this section. So locate this jump switch it's not so easy because it's behind the arch and it's not obvious what it's done until you actually go to leave so there we go we have an opening here so this wasn't here before <laughs> okay and here we are back in this block room So now, what is my next order of business? This might be where I have to deal with some mice. I've been quite lucky so far. Um, let me take a think. I'm gonna, you know, pause while I think because I don't want them to come and nibble me. Okay, I remember. I apologize, I remember. We're heading south now, past the aquarium. 
<laughs> okay, so let me explain these lasers here. You see the lasers straight ahead of me? There is a timed lever to get past them. So I'll explain a bit more at the time as well. So the timed lever to get past them is one use only. So if you miss it, you have to find an alternate route past these lasers. So that's for a little bit later. So this wall here next to the aquarium is actually climbable. That is the start of the alternate route you need to climb up. And something else I'll do much later, once I have the pistols, you see there's a key there. So I will make sure I have the pistols and then I will kill these sharks. I will assume they're sharks. So that's something for later on as well. And for now I'm going to use the ruby cubes that I picked up from the previous tinier aquarium. And you can see a secret there as well. So that's something else to get once we have the pistols. We can't get it yet. Okay, so that opens just this first door. And here you want to save the game because there's going to be four guys with guns. So let me rush on and do what I need to do to deal with them. Pull this lever. And then pull this lever and then walk on into this room. Lara is immune to the spikes, <laughs> but they are not. They're silly, they run. Okay, I think that's all of them. There's four guys in total. So the guys are so annoying throughout the game that even once I have my pistols, I will opt to lure them to here. So bear in mind this location. Okay, so now we're kind of working on getting the pistols. So I need to get on top of this spiked room. So I'm going to pull this block out. You only need to pull it once to get on top. And then I'm going to move this block onto the odd tile here. This is block one of two and it is incredibly important that you move this block first the second block is on the other side of those timed lasers and uh, the alternate route only opens up if you miss the run so if you don't do this and then you go to the other side of the lasers and you do the second block first you can come back and do this block but you can't get back to the other side of the lasers to go claim the pistol. So you see the pale block, that was indication, an indication that we need to do something else. So do that block first, that is so important. So now I'm going to make my way to the other side of the lasers. We need to do some more block pushing to find the lever that will turn off the lasers. So back to the main hall. And I'm heading northeast. So that'll be this away. Oh, here's the little mice. You see them? Okay, so this is the time I'm going to take to lure them for a swim. Some of them are stuck around the corner. They get stuck so easily. You know what? I believe some enemies spawned now down this way. I can't remember when they spawn. So there's a chance I might have to run away very quickly. Okay, no, good. <laughs> Just make sure they're following me. Guys? Where you at? Okay, they got stuck on the wall.
Yeah, so because I mentioned we're going to do some block pulling, it is best to get rid of the mice now <laughs> before we do the block pulling. Because otherwise they're going to be bothering you while you're slowly moving the blocks. So yeah, one of them didn't get stuck, but we'll just lure him down anyway. Where's your friends? Did you find a wall? Oh, you did. Okay, guys, come on. For real? So as they fall, they can just do a little bit of damage. Bite your ears on the way down. <laughs> Okay, that should be it. Oh, there's always one. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh. Okay, there's probably more in the halls, but those are the ones that were just following me for that moment. The rest of them might have got stuck on walls, they can get unstuck as you've seen. But just be aware that's probably not all of them. So I was going northeast. Okay, so the plan is we're going to get that highest block to the left hand side and then we can reach the very highest section. So firstly I'm going to move this block and put it into the gap. Okay, so that allows me to now move this block and put it in the middle section. Okay, so now I can move the highest block along to the end. Okay, so firstly, on the right hand side, there is our first secret. And next, there is the timed lever. So once you pull this, the block in front will raise and you'll not be able to pull it again. So in the left cubby there is a safe crystal. So I highly recommend you save your game. So if you do miss this I'll point out the alternate route. And it will show you what's happening and as it's showing you, you can move. So hop back and grab the ledge and then let go. I'm gonna run to the right, but mind the clock, it can easily get in the way. Okay, and we've made it, and it's showing us the pistols. 
So now I'm past the lasers, this will be where I end the video for today. So next time will be the last part of the game and I hope to see you there. Take it easy guys and girls.